that's fairly new is the underground shopping arcade. They probably took the idea from the Paris Metro or the New York subway, and they can have some very interesting shops. Now, a recent survey showed that the most popular seem to be the keep fit, the sports, the... Um, Baker, so, so glad, glad you could make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. To Miss Cheryl Baker, the Demon Magic Club requests the pleasure of your company. Please pass through the door on your left. Please pass through the door. Here's me without my Wonder Woman costume. I wonder how they knew my name, though. The idea... Oh! Oh, hello, Cheryl. Hello. C come up and help me. Come on, you, you, can, you can help me with this trick. You don't mind, do you? Not at all. No, now, the idea what Cheryl had found was nothing more sinister well. than a magic no. show in a tiny private theatre tucked away behind a tube station in the heart of London. A bit more, a bit more. Whoops. Whoop. <clears throat> Would you hold the beaker for me? <clears throat> yes. Hold it very carefully. Don't spill it. And now we need a very large playing card, this uh, joker. That goes on top like that. Now, this is the difficult bit. Here we go. <laughs> Drum roll. <coughs> One, two, three, you go. <laughs> See? Now it goes on the uh, the victim's, I mean the assistant's head. There we are, like that. Now, <laughs> would you hold that for me? Yeah. Hold it very tight, like that. That's right. Now this is the difficult. Here we go. <sighs> very delicate. One, two, three, go. <clears throat> there we are. How are you feeling, Stephen? All right? <clears throat> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Bit of a drip. <laughs> you better have this so that in case, uh, in case you get splashed when <laughs> this all falls off, right? Uh, the only way to get this the right way up is for Stephen to stand on his head. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to get him to do that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll say the magic words, abracadabra, and you lift it, lift it, lift the beaker off. Will you, will you do that I'll when do I say that, abracadabra? Yes. Ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra! This isn't an ordinary show for a bit of fun. It's more serious than that. It's a school for would-be professional conjurers, and the teacher is a top magic expert, Ali Bongo. I'll tell you what. Um, how about trying to tie a knot around your arm? Yes. You can use both hands this time. Oh, right. That's okay. much, much easier. Yeah. Right. Uh, now, because the speed is the essence, you see, in magic. Um, you know, the quickness of the hand deceives the eye. And uh, if, you're, if you're a magician and you've done a bit of practice, you can do it a little bit faster. You watch this one. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Hop. There you are. How about that? Oh, right. <laughs> it was quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll get it. Sir. I tell you what. Look, here's one you can do. This is, this is, put your foot up there. Yes. That's right, yes. Oops. Now, I want you to put tight in front of your leg first. In front of your leg then first. Then cross it over behind your leg. That's right. Over behind your leg. And then bring it round the front and tie a knot. Tie a knot. And another knot. And another knot. And another knot. And another knot. <laughs> it's a lot of knots. Now you have to get hold of the knots. Yeah. Say the magic words to yourself. <laughs> Very good. And then you just pull and it comes away, just like that. The knots are still there. Bubble. No bubble. <laughs> Ali, I think I need some more practice. I think you do. Should we go and see how the youngsters are doing? Yeah, it's okay. I'll bring me. <laughs> Hello, gang. Do you mind if I join you? <laughs> Take me hanky off. Now, first of all, can I say you all look so smart? I mean, you look like young magicians, which is great. Now, you're all members of the Demon Magic Club. That's right, isn't That's right, it? Yes. So, Billy, what exactly is it? Well, it's basically a club for young magicians, and um, it has the similar rules to the other magic clubs such as the London Society of Magicians which have the base here as well and the Magic Circle of London and um, you know, this started about um, a few months ago it's basically just to further the art of magic for young magicians especially this is a story of a snooker ball he was known to me as Fred and he appeared in public every day in the dazzling suit of red but he was so very lonely that he got himself a wife and they lived together happily at the southern end of Fife but times were hard they were divorced she had to go away. But she could not stand it on her own. She returned that very day. Now, things had improved these past two years. Now, time to have a kid. And after much discussion, they finally called him Sid. Ah. Oh. But Fred was made redundant, and he had to pawn his child. They got him back one year later, although a little wild. Now, they all lived very happily. But wasn't something missing? A second son called Al was born. Now, wasn't that a blessing? Uh, 
that's good. It's, it's very unusual to hear a, a rhyming patter with, with a, a billy ball production. But I'll tell you one thing. Um, when, you, when you go for the spare ones, you, you tend to look down at where you're going, but you should know where they are. You know, just, just keep, keep looking at the, the hand and, and go for the, the spare one without looking down. It would, you know, yeah. keeps the attention on this hand, which is more important. The other day, a magician did a trick with one, two, three, four, five cards. Took the five cards through one, two cards away, but he still had these one, two, three, four, five cards left. Now I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could come here today with these five cards, throw two away instead of one, two, three, four, five. But then again, I thought you'd probably seen the trick where you take five, throw away two, instead of one, two, three, four, five. Now what would be better is to take the five cards, throw one, two, three, four, five away and be left with one, two, rather than throw away one, two and be left with one, two, three, four, five. It's just not the same. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I, I think it was great. Um, one thing, I, I wonder whether you, you could actually hold the cards up a bit higher so that so that your your, your face comes mm. in sort of closer contact. Because because your face is the important thing. You know, the smile with the cards. That's that's where you get the real reaction. You know. Oh ho ho! It's magic. You know. Never believe it's magic. That. Da -da -da. Keep going, keep going. Come on. <laughs> Somebody's had a very bad cold, obviously. <laughs> Have you got a trick? Yeah. No. You had that tucked in your pants. <laughs> Look at Have you got a trick? Da -da -da. Empty handkerchief, empty handkerchief. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Take the handkerchief, take the handkerchief. Da -da -da -da. We need a hair now. The whole lot won't come off, will it? Oh. <laughs> no, no. Ready? <laughs> ah! Wrap it around the top. I'm fascinated. Oh. You can clap if you like it, clap if you like it. No, no, no. You know, now I will produce some budgies. <laughs> you know, I never even saw your lips move. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs>